Hey citizens, Detective Michaels here with a very special unboxing video. Now, normally we unbox the latest police tech. I'm talking guns, crowd control, and paperwork. So, Detective, what makes today's unboxing so special? Well, open your fucking ears and listen. Today we're gonna unbox evidence from the first murder case that I ever closed. Lily James, July 2003. The only thing that's out of the box was the murder. Justice on bar. So, right out of the gate, packaging's pretty substandard, right? Cardboard file box, pretty flimsy, not a lot of water, scratch protection. Wow, look at this beast, packed to the gills with evidence. Really, really feature rich. I got a lot of great stuff. You want anything, it's in here. Now, fun fact, a lot of this evidence didn't even lead to our conviction of town trouble banker Sean Mayberry, but we got this confession tape out of him. Now, he insisted that he was innocent, but after a night of aggressive interrogation, he finally confessed to the murder like he should. If I was going to get an evidence box and it didn't have one of these in there, I would say I was missing out on a key feature. So, big fan of that. What else we got? Oh, now this here, this, this is great. This is official boot print report. Really nice to see one of these in an evidence box. You don't want to leave home without one. If you're gonna be unboxing evidence, you wanna see something like this. Now this is a boot print found at the scene, obviously embedded right there in the mud. Very, very nice. Now check this out, this is beautiful. Really solid, heavy grade paper, very clean, very durable. This was definitely made in PowerPoint. Not a standard element. Love to see that in an evidence box. It's a really nice attention to detail, but it, weird, it says here that Sean Mayberry's feet are nowhere near big enough for the size 11 boot prints at the scene. Which could be explained by a million different things like trick shoes, prop feet, uh, handstands with boot feet, don't worry about that. Now this box is loaded with features. You want photographs, you got it. You want DNA evidence from the victim and multiple suspects, you got it. Now I review a lot of evidence and it's really amazing to see such an awesome array of says here that Sean Mayberry's DNA was not found as a match to anything at the scene, which can be explained, you know, in a number of ways. Obviously, you know, he's a smart criminal. He knew to leave his DNA at home that day. Am I right? <laughs> it's funny. I never even, I never even cracked that folder during the investigation. We just, we, we knew who our guy was, so it didn't really seem necessary at the time. Let's talk about some of the evidence from the victim's room, right? Because there's a lot of great evidence. Now, oh, this is a photograph of the victim and her boyfriend, Chet, actually ex-boyfriend. They split just days before the murder. Uh, now, this photo is beautiful to behold, um, especially this, this hoodie that Chet's wearing. It, it looks just like um, a hoodie we found at the scene covered in the victim's blood. Uh, again, great, awesome photo, love that photo. Uh, lots of great stuff in this box, um, like the 27 page plea for an appeal from Sean Mayberry. Um, and there's that hoodie. Okay, um, yeah, fuck, um, you know, it's, uh, Rick, thank you so much for joining me on the channel. Again, uh, I, I give this box um, uh, eight out of 10. Uh, pretty standard, but, but loaded with, with fuck. Look, I'm not taking down this video because I need the views, but if you fucking say anything, anything, I will fucking end you, okay? So why don't you leave me a nice comment down below letting me know why Sean Mayberry's guilty. Good talk, love my detectors, I'll uh, see you next time. Dog I, I want to see a psychiatrist. Ugh, whatever for. You're not a pervert, a murderer, or a Chinese. I'm not happy, Doug. I need help. The only shrink that's going near my wife is my shrinking penis anytime within five feet of you. I'm just gonna go fall asleep in the bathtub. That sounds like a woman's work. Ooh, that's a nice distraction. The next item you're gonna need, Mentos. The Fresh Maker. The next item you're gonna need, coconut oil. <laughs>